Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rich. All right, welcome to Open That Book, Rich. This is a good one. Probably my favorite purchase from Comic-Con, honestly. So this is the art of Posuka Demizu. Never heard of the artist. She is phenomenal. I mean, like, if you liked yesterday's book, this one is going to knock you on your ass. The art is really, really good. There's a lot more figure-type work in this. Um, it's it's loose. It's got energy. It's detailed. The colors are just absolutely killer. I mean, it's it's really... Um, I mean, I kind of referred to... I said that, you know, the books that I bought at Comic-Con really felt like a Grand Slam for me this year, meaning that just uh, I really enjoy all of them. I'm excited about sort of like the variety of stuff that I picked up. Uh, the fact that I think three of the the five books that I got from Stuart, uh, I didn't know the artist, which is really exciting because then you're really kind of going into it with, um, uh, you know, like, like uh, everything is neat and something kind of fresh and new. Uh, but this book in particular... This was the one that caught my eye on Thursday. I had seen it on Thursday when I just was kind of looking at the covers of the books that he had out. And uh, when I went back Sunday, uh, he had one copy left. And I, I was one of the first books that I actually opened up and flipped through. And I was like, damn. All right, so let's get into this. So this was $30. It's I think you can actually find it for like $21 online. Dude, snap it up for $21 for sure. So, again... The one thing that you're really going to see with Pasuka is is how well she draws. Um, her 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 drawings just in general are absolutely kick ass. Already, uh, people are already buying the book right now. I guarantee. Who give me like? Let me know if by page one you were already buying it. <laughs> I know a lot of people have it already. I've had a lot of people comment and say that they actually own. Um, one person was saying that they own all the books that I got, um, which is really cool. Let me. I'm gonna take the dust cover off this really quick. Okay. Uh, my camera stand is getting in the way of me like completely being able to do this as nicely as I would like right now. Look at this. So there was a, a book that I was really into. It was one of actually like the first manga series that I bought, which was um, Bandaging, King of Bandaging. Adam Archer, uh, Sandra um, Hope's uh, husband, um, worked at Wildstorm, and he was a colorist. And he showed me uh, Bandaging, and I just was like, man, this is such cool shit. Um, but they, like, there's a little bit of a Bandaging kind of vibe to like this piece. But uh, if you've never seen King of Bandaging um, or just Bandaging, it's really, really good. Um, uh, sucks that the camera stand is in the way. I, I apologize that it's bumping it. There's nothing I can do. Um, this thing is only so long, and uh, I can't squeeze the book in and uh, do it. Again, you know, like, like things that I like about this book are real similar to the last one, um, which is really, really cool use of perspective. Absolutely insane colors, um, really, really just cool ideas. That you know, this is again, it's it's probably a two hundred page book, if not maybe a little tiny bit more. I could be off on that. I don't don't quote me on the page counts. I'm just I kind of guess based on the thickness of the book and what I think it is. But um, there's just thousands of good ideas within the pages of these books. Just clever, clever little things that these artists uncover. That, that are just fun, fun ideas. And, you know, when you're looking for something a little out of the box, um, these types of things, you know, putting them in your head really, really just add to your, um, like, kind of mental library of cool things that, you know, I, I've talked about before where, where sometimes I'll have seen something a long time ago and I kind of remember it, but I don't really, like, I don't remember who the artist is. And I just remember it was like, oh, it was a piece with a little girl walking down a street and there were shadows and there was like a cat bat flying by or whatever it is. And and your memory of it is like a little different than what it actually looks like. This is great. Um, but But you still have like the essence of the idea in your head. And then when you draw it, because you're not copying it or you're not, you know, you don't even really remember who, who it was that did it. Um, you know, you've, you've just got all these like little tools in your toolbox that you can kind of explore. So looking at good stuff is awesome. Just don't, don't rip it off. 
you know, that's the thing is, is be inspired by it. Don't copy it. And in particular, don't steal it. Because anyone that knows art well is going to nail you on that anyway, honestly. It happens where people discover an artist that they don't know about, and then they'll, like, swipe something, and then um, they don't realize that, like, a million fans online know the person's work and have been following him for years just because it's, like, new to you or, like, you don't <laughs> recognize. So you want to you want to be mindful of that. Plus, it's funner to draw stuff on your own. Then you you know that you did it on your own. Um, and there's a just a, a higher level of satisfaction of like, man, I, you know, I made this up. I was inspired by something, but uh, again, I'm having to squeeze the book, and I don't like folding it as much as I am right now. It's not hurting the book, but I, I still don't like doing it. Really, really cool shot. Again, just really, really like great figure drawing. I'll show you a whole piece. And this one is really cool too. Let me see if I can. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Great colors. Just warm and cools. Beautiful. This reminds me a little bit of like the last scene in Silent Hill where you have the fight like in the amusement park. So creepy. <laughs> oh man, this is great. Let's see if I can squeeze this in. Again, I apologize. It's um, morning and so the sunlight is blazing in from the left of me. Uh, there's really no way I can kind of avoid the shadows or the glare. You know, again, that's it's it's one of the reasons that I have done so many videos that are um, not open that book because. This is just uh, tricky to do. Really, really cool. Yeah, this is such great shit. I think that I actually followed her on Instagram. I'm nearly sure I did. She didn't have a ton of stuff up, but uh, I'm excited to uh, follow follow her. So I'll put I'll put a link in the description box to it. And then um, I might, I, you know, I've never done it before, but I may start doing um, like Amazon links in my description box for the books that I go over just so that like one, you can order it right away and two, it, I can put the money towards the channel or, or buy new books. So, you know, um, I might do that. I won't do it today, but uh, I might look into it. I'm always never comfortable with like kind of, you know, I, I don't like to milk people for things like that like, oh, this is really cool damn what a neat little idea the key maker <laughs> oh great piece I've never seen anyone draw a key maker before to be honest I don't, I don't know all the years I've looked at art I don't think I've ever seen anyone draw something like this it's pretty funny These books are so good, man. And you know, you know, like you get this and you're just like, there's probably like a thousand books of kick-ass art like this that I'm not aware of. But I'm always happy to get one. I'm actually, it's funny because it's really tempting. I might rearrange just like a little small part of a shelf today because I want to kind of make room for uh, my new books and I'll just move some out that have been in here for a while that I don't look at. I don't want to. I don't want to do like a full remodel, but I'm, I'm thinking I was eyeballing my shelves and going like, what books do I not look at that I could get rid of like ten or fifteen and and then uh, put in the new shit. I've got the Berserk uh, Deluxe Hardcover Number One coming today. Should be delivered any time, so I'm excited about that. I'm going to get my Berserk on. Oh, this is really cool. What do you think of this artist? She's good, right? She's bringing it. I was kind of joking with Kelsey, and I said that, uh, man, the, the, the these Japanese artists <coughs> really kind of take uh, take art other artists to school in terms of like the like again quantity, quality, level of detail, 
I mean, they generally do it all, meaning that they pencil, ink, and color great. It's just like, they really, really um, do some incredible shit. Look at the lighting on this. It's so cool how it breaks up. Could be a Top Cow cover. Oh my god, more wings. Top Cow. <laughs> So some pretty interesting wings. I kind, of, I kind of like how they drew them. This is nice too. This has got a little bit of a, like an early Josh Middleton vibe. What was it Sky Beneath Branches? Was it called? Ah oh, man, this is great. Again, lots of different styles, lots of different content, just a bazillion different color palettes that that are used in the book. Um, you know, you can just like all of these. Okay, now the sun is starting to really get bright. Um, fuck. Um, yeah, you know, you could tap into just even like one page of this and get an idea that could literally define your whole style. You know, uh, like uh, it's like oh, they use these really cool gray palettes. And next thing you know, you're like the gray palette artist. So you never know where um inspiration and and uh that little moment that aha moment is going to come from and then you're born <laughs> this is really cute all right let me get into some of the this is pretty nice nice spread let me get to some of this other stuff oh man this is cool If you hear like worrying in the background, I'm processing um, a video for uh, the Patreon. More of that Joe Matarera piece that I'm inking. So like a double page spread of Battle Chasers. I'll have a link to my Patreon. You can check it out um, if you want to. It's like I think I have about five, five and a half hours worth of footage recorded so far. But all, all, all total, it'll probably be like 20 hours of me inking. I'm, and I'm doing it just a tiny bit each day, like 10, 15 minutes a day. It's not a big commitment. I'm, Blaster Kit is the majority of what I'm working on during the day. But uh, just I wanted to do some tutorials for Patreon. Okay, so I'm going to do a few more pages, and then I'm going to wrap this one up because I need to get to work, actually. But uh, we're not even a third of the way through this book, so you can see that there's some really, really great shit in here. Stuff. These are cool. So I'd be curious, because, like, um, there's, you know, like, a lot of different programs that you can draw on. Does anyone use Psy? I was thinking about checking it out just to see. I mean, I kind of, I, I was a Photoshop person. I've messed around with Corel Painter, um... And uh, now if I'm working, I generally, I think if I was going to color, I would still use Photoshop. But, I mean, if I'm going to goof around digitally, a lot of times I, I will do it in um, Clip Studio. But uh, yeah, I've never really tried to say. I always thought Corel had kind of some of the more interesting brushes and stuff like that. But I think... Um, now you could probably find those types of tools anywhere. This is cool. You're still pu pushing pixels around the same way. And to be clear, I mean, I'm working on Blaster Kid traditionally. Um, but pencils and inks are all going to be done traditionally. So it's not a digitally drawn book. But yeah, I really like this book. There's there's just a lot of really, really fun stuff in it. Look at this. This is really cool. This is really badass, too. Tomatoes? Yeah. 
kind of trying to look through the phone and the thing. Oh man, this is cool. Okay, we'll do one more. Oh, this is awesome. I think we'll end with this. Okay, so try to show you the whole piece. So so weird. So all right, this is this book right here. Whoa, sorry, this book. The Art of Pasuka Dimize. Dimizu. The Art of Pasuka Dimizu. She's so good. Really, really impressive stuff. I'm a big fan. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Hopefully everyone's out there drawing or collecting books or doing whatever you do. And uh, I will talk to you very soon. All right, bye.